Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm here to try and help you improve your chess. There are two features that I would like to look at today in the puzzle section. Now, in the previous video last week, we looked at what's called a puzzle racer. So feel free to check out that video if you haven't seen that before. Today, we're going to look at puzzle streak versus puzzle storm. And then, first of all, we'll show you what exactly what they are. And then talk about briefly the advantages and disadvantages of both. So we're going to start with puzzle streak, okay, like so. I'm going to see how far I can get. I'm going to put some music in the background. Again, feel free to do the puzzles as I go along, and I'll talk briefly about why it's useful, maybe not so useful in certain circumstances. Let's go. And if you're liking the content that you're watching currently, then please do consider liking and subscribing and sharing with your friends as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, so one of the problems with those kind of puzzles, as you can see, they're all, for my level anyway, fairly straightforward. So it feels like you're not really improving so much. It's more a case of, okay, how far can I get? You know, more of an ego thing rather than actually looking to improve. So I do like that. I'm sure there is probably a setting where you can change it, but I find that a little bit too slow in terms of improvement. We have another option here called Puzzle Storm. So we have exactly three minutes to complete as many, questions, as many of these puzzles as possible. So my record is 36. I'm not sure if that's any good, but let's get started. I assume I just move and then we get started. Okay, I'll play some music in the background. Off we go.
Okay, so I made it to 32 with 97% accuracy. I do like this. Um, I think this is probably a better one to play in order to improve. Again, looking at the difficulty, it would be nice to get some slightly harder puzzles in there as well. And again, you're kind of getting rewarded for speed rather than accuracy. Though, of course, you can focus yourself on exactly what you want to focus on in terms of balancing, calculating correctly against the speed of the calculation. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think that you know the options that we looked at today, so Puzzle Storm or Puzzle Streak is good, or even Puzzle Racer that we looked at before? It's great that Lee Chess has got a lot of these options out there, and feel free to explore it, because it will help you improve in the long run. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, please like, please subscribe, and bye-bye for now.